Live from beautiful Ohio, it's the OK Boomer podcast, featuring siblings, the real Jean and Laura. Hello, hello, and happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. You're Jean, and I am Laura, and we are here to encourage all you boomers, millennials, and everyone to be happily okay. Well, it's almost Thanksgiving, so we are happily okay. We are, and I would like to say in honor of Thanksgiving, we had a planning session for this podcast at our neighborhood yummy breakfast place. Yes, so good, called First Watch, very good. And we had pumpkin pancakes, Mm -mm. but the best part is we accidentally came in identical outfits. Truly identical. She had, we both have on matching purpley maroon turtlenecks and black leggings, and we look just alike. Yeah, so we're having a wonderful time. We planned all this, and I can't wait to hear about your week. About my exciting week. Yes. Well, Jean, not, not a whole lot happened. First off, about a little over a week ago, I had a similar fun, wonderful breakfast mm. at another breakfast place with my two daughters. And we were all planning to go to Home Goods afterwards, which is fun, to pick up little accessories. Brows. Brows, just fun girl time. So as we're leaving the breakfast place, much as you and I might do, we weren't all dressed alike, though, that day. We, I felt the need to give everyone directions because the one just moved back from Texas, and I thought maybe she needed a little update on things. So I'm going on and on and my two daughters are so sweet. Like on and on, you're doing what? I'm, I'm going on and on, and they're sweetly looking. I'm explaining exactly how to get there. You make a right, you'll go through the roundabout, and you come up here, and there's a little coffee place on the corner, and then you'll turn. And I'm just, and they don't want to interrupt me. And finally, the one so sweetly said, you know, you know, Mom, we, we just GPS this. And then I realized... Oh, nobody really gives detailed directions anymore. He had just GPS. It. Yeah, I yes, I'm I'm pretty solid with the GPS too. Yeah, no, I still like to know you turn right at Fred's garage and eh, so I got to get a little. Well, that's a kind of a cute story to start us off. The different generations. That's right. Yeah, you've leaped into the today's generation i'm still kind of old school so anyway i i've been doing better haven't had as many maladies or things go wrong although i i'm struggling a little bit with something i don't know if other people have this concern we the oh and i just started balance of nature those commercials on fox network finally got to you didn't they got (laughs) to us so we're trying it just for a little bit we haven't done the whole subscription thing yet we're just trying them on our own now I, I know members of my family have said this is not necessary, Mom. You could just eat healthfully every day, which I try to, but, you know, a little added. Is that what prompted you to do this, is health, or what was yes. your overriding? Yes, I, we just thought, hey, if we can be energetic like these people on TV, why not? I want to be that 90-year-old who can still ride a motorcycle across and the country. be in the Olympics, the exactly. Senior Olympics. Senior Olympics. So, so we've been taking them, although I, I struggle a little bit with them. The other day, the OH walked in, and I was out of paper towels, so I was in a different room getting them and said, why is there water all over the counter? What happened in here? Well, it's me. I can't swallow. I'm terrible at swallowing my pills, and I'll choke and like the entire mouthful of water would just was spewing everywhere. So I'm struggling with that. Other than that, See, right? I, so if you were eating just green beans or something, you right, would have. I, really... I would not be spewing my green beans, but I'm I would, big okay. little critter. So anyway, but other than that, I've had a pretty pretty safe week. Now I tell you, I learned a new word this week. Are you ready? Well, you should always. That's a good yes. plan. Every week, we learn something. Learn a new vocabulary word. This week's is. Slugging. As I would think of baseball. You would think of it like a slugger. S-L-U-G-G-I-N-G, yes. L U G G I N G. Slugging. And it's actually something I used to do, so I'm going to incorporate it again. It's where you spread Vaseline or a petroleum jelly type substance all over your face at night, and it's supposed to help keep the water from escaping while you sleep. And you wake up with refreshed skin. Your poor OH. 
Well, First he has you spewing water. Now yeah. he has you slugging. Slugging. So I'm now slugging. Vaseline over the face. Yes. Have I've you noticed to... any? What well, have you I, noticed? I, no, I just started this. Oh, so. all right. So update will be coming in the upcoming months. But yeah. Good. Just slab the Vaseline on. And then my last little thing, my trendy note, is TikTok. Have you done the perfect face filter? Ooh, oh, no. Now oh. perhaps if I slug enough, I'll just have the perfect face. But it's called the perfect face filter, and they're just all over the place. And there is where these girls, you see their face, and then this weird filter comes over, and it supposedly makes your face perfect. Like it changes where your eyes, color, skin, lips, everything. It's supposedly for your face makes it perfect, which is very bizarre. No wonder they're so concerned about young, really young kids being on these. Yes. I mean, that would I be would awful. Not... So you would think that it would be telling you like, oh, well, your nose is not right. the best. Right, you really should look like this. But luckily on the TikTok, I don't think they call it the TikTok, but on TikTok, they, the girls usually are frowning when they see the perfect face. So they're making it seem like they like their current face. Well, I would hope so. I would hope so, too, because Aww. I personally think everyone looks much better just as themselves. So that's bringing you up to date. Oh, it's giving me something to think about. And I think you're right. We would call it our generation. We would call it the TikTok. The TikTok. <laughs> you're right. Yep. Yep. No, no need to change your face. Just put a smile on and you're all set, I yes, say. Yes, yes. My week. Are we up to my week? We are finally up to your week. All right. Well, we had our first snow. We, we did, did too. We did almost, what, two, three inches? Two. Yes, very big, fluffy flakes. Enormous flakes. Yes, I like that. It and it beautiful. came down and then it melted pretty quickly, but it was, yeah, it was that nice. was fun. Um, well, I had a little bit of excitement doing something I hadn't done before. I used Amazon to send a package to the UK. Oh my. I've never yeah. I have never sent internationally. At all? Well no with Amazon. Oh, okay. Because otherwise you have to go to the post office yeah. and pay the customs and which isn't bad. It's fun. It's and it's fun to mail packages to another it is. country. It's, it's very, very exciting. exciting. But then she just did Amazon. Wow, and they take care of it. Yeah. Expensive? No, not too bad at all. Nice. Especially yeah, because I really wanted to remember my friend Jessie on her birthday, and I got it there on her birthday. Amazing. Yeah. Well done. So That's good to remember. Right. We have to have more friends. To... Yeah. I want international friends now. So uh, another thing that I'm happy about, that made me very happy, birthdays, you know, working out, that's always happy. Yeah. But another thing is we've made it back to NBA games. We went together with you and your OH to an we NBA did. game. We wore different outfits that night. We did. Yeah. And then my OH and I went to a, a game just a couple of days ago, Cleveland Cavaliers, we're talking about, who yeah, are starting off well. That may be fading now, but they're starting off well. Now, I'm just going to ask you a quick question that our listeners, would you have done this? As we were standing in line at the Cavs game, a woman walked by and she had her whole great big bag of shelled penis. They were all in their shells. And as she walked right in front of me, sadly... She dropped the whole bag. So she has a bag of peanuts in their shells. In their shells. It was a very large bag. Yes. And Drops it, it. Just, I don't know why. I guess glancing over at me, she just dropped her bag. It happens. And she was just so upset about it. And I kind of mumbled, well, you could just pick them up there in their shells. Right. But she looked horrified. I, what you say, let's say you, I would have picked them up. At home, I would have done it for sure. And and the reason I'm saying home versus there is not that it would have really bothered me anymore, but just to stand, it's so crowded and to be yeah. scrounging after peanut shells. Possibly. Right, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're right inside. But, I think I would Right, you just up. have to tell everybody you can't, if they're ever salted on the outside. Yeah, don't. No, 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 but yeah, okay. that's a very good question. Thank you. Just moving very on. Very good question. So I'm, one thing I was happy to see, and whereas maybe at first I was a little worried once we got through that, those first two games where everything was back to normal, that's what I'm getting at. Everything was back yes. to normal, which at first might have seemed a bit scary, like we're going back where there's lots of people, lots of people shouting, high-fiving. We ate at the court club, and the food's just all out buffet style. And, and no first, plastic that, covers? 
Just um, regular buffet style. Pretty much just regular. Huh. Um, they they served you for the for the most part, but not every stand. All right. So what at the maybe the beginning of the evening was a little uh, scary off putting. By the end of the evening, we were just like back in time. It's like we'd gone back in time. It was 2019. Everything was fine. We were having fun. We're eating food. They're shooting off the t-shirts. Yay. I just switched over. That game really switched me over. I'm back into regular good. life now. Good, good. And I should say we have both had our... Boosters. Right. Yes, we have. And flu shots. And flu shots. I don't need any more. We had lots of shots this year. Yeah, we have. Not alcoholic, just our... <laughs> That's true. And speaking of something that could be fun, like alcohol. Yes. Of course, you know I don't drink anymore. Right. But... but Here's something I do enjoy. Yeah. I've just really gotten into nothing but cake shops. Oh, what do you think? Oh, those are so good. My one daughter a while ago, she had gotten them as a gift and shared a bite with me. Very good. They're so, bite. they're so cute. It was a bite. They're so um dense and and wonderful. And, and, and because they're smaller, you feel so good about yourself. So how I got this is I was um here's like you know. Star for me. I earned my gold star last week. Yes. I am driving to the doctor's office with my, shall we say, my bathroom test. Yeah. You you do that. I you, do. You do the bathroom test. I do the horrible. Oh, right. I, I try to stick. Colonoscopy. I said the word, but okay. Yeah. So I did test. my bathroom test, had it all nicely in the envelope. And as I was driving to the doctor's office, I thought, you know, they've worked so hard during the pandemic to keep us all healthy and they were always there and you could go in and that must have been they must have had hard days i should treat them to something yeah so i was going right by the nothing but bunt cake. nothing bunt nothing but yes bunt. and i went in and i ordered them a package of the little i think they call them buntinis Clever. Yeah. Clever. Right? So I there happily got to the doctor's office, marched in with my envelope, my bathroom envelope in one hand and my <laughs> like chocolate bunting. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but oh, anyhow, I delivered boring. it. I felt good and I would recommend that as a place if you want to treat someone, that is a good That is really a good treat. I'm just very impressed that you brought something to your doctor's office. How nice of you. Yeah, I felt good. Very and then nice I brought you. some for me to take home, too, of course. Well, just yes. to be sure, right. Yeah. For and future reference. We got the pumpkin spice yum, mm. and the I got my OH, the pecan praline. Oh. That was good, too. Oh, that so sounds good. Lots mm. of flavors to work our way through. Good thing we have pumpkin pancakes here. I would be hungry. Right. All right, and you want to pour some more coffee for us? Sure. All right. And you know what? They have pumpkin spice. Did you notice they have pumpkin spice creamer? They do. Yeah, that, so I love good. that. It's so, our all right. season. I mentioned pumpkin. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. Da, yes. Because it's pretty much here. And we are surprisingly well organized for us. We actually know when it is. We know the day. We know what time we're having our dinners. We pretty much know the menus. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about menus in a little more depth, but we are ready, I think, aren't we? I Knock on wood. I love Thanksgiving. It's Can't... one of my favorite holidays. And, of course, when was I born? You were born right on Thanksgiving. On right Thanksgiving Right Thanksgiving of, of that year, of that particular year. It fell on Thanksgiving. It's so, always a big day for me. And especially when it falls on Thanksgiving, yes. which every few years which it actually... Did. Last year, year, last year, yeah, I think. Yeah, we're, we're, yes, we're thankful for yeah, you. Yeah, Yay. Yeah, Happy Thanksgiving. So I was talking to my um, older son and his lovely partner, and they had just gone on a cruise. Yes, they had. And we were talking about the cruise, and we were also talking about, the, you know, planning, getting together just to talk over what had been going on. So yeah. they had just gone on a cruise. And they were saying it was, I said, how was it around the Caribbean? Pretty smooth, pretty... Right. Yeah, for the most part, it was, except they had one night where the waves were higher. And they kind of felt that rocky. Right, a little bit. and Take the boning. Yes, I suppose you would want to yep. do that, oh, yes. And I said, wow, because we'd been talking about Thanksgiving, you were in a boat that was probably a thousand feet long. 
a beam of several hundred feet, you know, the width. Think of the pilgrims on the right. little Mayflower. What was that? A hundred feet, probably? <laughs> Maybe. No stabilizer. <laughs> That's right. No Lido deck to go on. Uh, right. And I said, God love them. So they came here. The pilgrims came in. I had to, I knew the year. It was 1620. They actually landed on November 11th. So maybe, no wonder they had so much trouble that first winter. They were already in Massachusetts. It would have been cold, cold. And rainy and yucky. And probably Lost really actually hearts. snowier. There, I don't know yeah. what climate change there was then, but it's probably snowing. Probably. So the God Lost love the them. They landed then. What did you so, say, 1619? 20. 1620. I don't know that I could have just spewed that out. Very nice, um, very nice. Well, I think as it did, so that would have been 500 years ago yeah. in a yeah. little boat. Yeah. They came over. Glad we're here. Yeah, so that's why we celebrate Thanksgiving. That's one reason. Um, so let's talk about our plans. We have, how about the, you know, one thing that I think has maybe changed a little, and I'm happy about this, is our menus, because we've added yes. so many more spouses, and that's really been fun, and kids. So our family's gotten so much bigger, but... There's been some changes in the menu, which I love. We have What gone, are you going to have? We have gone beyond just the green bean casserole. Right. I mean, I'm very proud of it. So we're going to integrate more uh, vegetable dishes, some vegan dishes. I, I'm very excited about it. So I've, I've got my one daughter. She's a pescatarian. And then my daughter's boyfriend is a vegan, so I'm I'm excited about the expanded menu this year. More vegetables, which I really like vegetables. Right, Good vegetable dishes. So you won't have to take your balance of nature that day. I could maybe skip it that day and not spit all everywhere. Yes, I think that's going to be really, really fun to have some different things to try. We're going to our one son's house. Um, probably having a more traditional feast, but he has already sent me some examples of, he wants to make some smoked dips and appetizers on his smoker grill. And that Ooh, sounds intriguing. That sounds really good. Right. Now, we this would be like the carnivore side of the, our family's more the carnivore side still of the family. Yes, well, the OHs are still carnivore. If it has mashed potatoes and gravy mashed there. Mashed potatoes, gravy, and meat. Yes. That's all you need. Right. But I'm I'm excited, so. You're having turkey, though. Oh, yeah. We ordered a 20-pounder. Big bird. I hope oh, he fits. That's fabulous. It's always sad if they don't fit So the what other. is your cooking style? Because I know there are many, many, bag, many. Bag, bag, bag. Bag, 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 meaning you. I plop the bird in a big plastic bag, dump a bunch of butter in it, some poultry seasoning, and you're good to go. Close the oven door, bye. Okay. Put a big bag. Oh, yeah, very yeah, good. And then the stuffing, bag. you put in a separate... No, I'm real bad with the stuffing. I use a stovetop. That's what my my younger son were. We're going to his house. He had that on the list for me to get. Stove top stuff. Stove top sage flavor. My kids love it. And you don't add anything to it. Nothing. You don't add I mushrooms meant, or sausage nope, or nope, nope, nope. Very boring. Sorry, guys. No, it's actually not. But it's funny. That's what that I was yeah. given specific directions for that. It's good. And honestly, you can work all day on homemade cornbread stuffing. But why? Right. That oh, that sounds good. And. How about sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes are kind of a... Are, yeah. are people fans of them? You know, I, I was looking up some different things, and I will I will at some point get to a little list of things, but sweet potatoes, surprisingly, which I love, yes. are low on many people's lists. Oh, that's right. We'll, we'll do... Yes, yes. You I have more shocking. to tell about. So sweet potatoes. And do people still make them with the marshmallows, or is I that they, really... No, you still see recipes. With, yeah, the little marshmallows on top. I mean, oh. you can't go wrong with marshmallows. No, no. Little what what desserts are you going to have? Pecan pie, pumpkin pie, maybe some type pumpkin of apple. Pie. Pumpkin pie. I don't know why I had to put a southern <laughs> accent on the pie. What? <laughs> but I did. Right. And probably like an apple pie. Pies, pies, pies. Pie. Pie. So Ooh. there you go. All right. Great. There you so, go. But I'm excited. Yeah, so you had something fun to share about. What was it, something people don't like about well, What was I, it? I have a list. I have two, two lists, my dear. You know me. I like to have lists. Oh, I good. I have a list of things people do not like about Thanksgiving. Oh, my. And then I just have some Thanksgiving trivia. 
By the way, do you Tickle all watch the um good, good, good. Do you all watch the parade? I love oh, yes. it. I love the parade. I love the Macy's parade. Is it gonna be regular back to normal this year? I don't know. That's a good question. Right. And and didn't you have you your daughters were in yes, the parade? My yes. Jump roping daughters, the heartbeats, woo! Yeah from Ohio jump rope team. They marched two years in a row in the parade. So we were actually there. We <sighs> were there. And did you actually get to see a lot? Did that work out? Yes. Um, yeah, to some extent. I mean, you're kind of running around, but yeah. Oh, that would have been wonderful. I, I do love the parade. All right, so what, it was what do I see that you have top, right. top things that well, people don't like? Yeah, these are things people what? don't like. So All right, bring it on. Loins. Hard to imagine there's anything about Thanksgiving that people don't like. Yes. But apparently there are. Are you ready? Yes. Top things people do not like about Thanksgiving. Number one. Number one. These are in order, you think, or are they? Well, I don't know. Oh, all right. Been, uh, okay. If... We're saying they're in order. Number one, people do not like seeing everybody's plate of food on social media all day long. Or people oh. have to take a picture of their dinner plate. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's I fine. That's, that's fine. fun. So we're okay with that, aren't we? Sure. Number two, the old... Going around the table and making everybody say what they're thankful for. Their example, and this kind of hit hard. This uh -huh. is close to home. Their example of things that people hate saying what they're thankful for is that grandma didn't die this year. I thought, oh dear, I'm that. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad I'm we're that, not going to that family I'm Thanksgiving. Grandma. Not going to that, but I, I actually was tempted to have the old go around the table. Perhaps I won't. No, I think that's why it is called. What is the day called? Thanksgiving. It's not called football giving, even though we like to watch football. We do, but right? It's not called Macy's parade giving, even though we like. It's called Thanksgiving. There you so go. I may just make be thankful, people. We go have a around lot. the table, even right? The little one. All right, he'll come up with something. Number three. Yeah. People have actually an anxiety about opening up their Pillsbury Crescent Roll can. <laughs> you always do wonder if it's going to work. And don't yes, you? and that the, the pop always makes people jump. Oh, now, right. I have struggled, not every time, usually eight out of ten times I'm great with it. Eight out of ten times? Yes, but sometimes you hit it and it just won't open. Oh, that's what you're worried about. Uh, See, that's even worse than the no pop. You're worried that it's it not going to... Actually open it all. Then you have to pry it and then that's scary and you've wrecked the folds of the crescent rolls. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Okay. It's yeah. a real thing. So I I'm, think they've gotten, you don't think they've improved? I thought they seemed easier in recent no, years. No, not at no. all. It's eight out of mm. ten times. Oh, yes. All right. Yes. So I'm with you people on that one, which I guess we realize people just keep serving crescent rolls every year. Yeah, and cranberry sauce. What kind of cranberry sauce do oh, we have? Well, yeah, that's a thing. I've uh, already gotten the request. It has to be the jellied, the canned, that jellious stuff. Jellious we're just a, a gelatin, we're that thick quivering cube, the quivering qu cube that wiggles on the table. I personally love it, and so does my son-in-law. I love it too. And what's the other does. kind that's more of a gloopy, more of the gloopy, with the berries? No, no, no. no just you the gotta can. have the wiggle guy, right? He's so quivering fun. wiggle. Yes, quivering wiggle is a plus. I'm okay. sure that's how the pilgrims did it. No, I'm sure they did. They yes. got real gelatinous. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Number four, people. Hate about Thanksgiving is they hate feel, a bit strong, isn't it? Hate is, but actually the article said hate. Oh, that's not we nice. Want, we'll, we'll go back to dislike. All right. They feel their diet, their healthy diet, is gone until January, and they stress about this. Well, that's probably true. But yeah, it just is true. You just right. gotta deal with it. It's gone. Yeah. Just wake up in January and feel good. I, however, will be taking my balance of nature, so. Oh, should be covered. We have to circle back to that. I'm I am puzzled that yeah. you're doing it, but yes, yeah. let's let's circle back to that. Number five, people don't really like turkey. They would much rather have chicken, but feel obligated to have turkey. Uh but you gotta have the big bird. You do. You just have to. All right. Young adults at the table don't like to be interrogated by family members about what they're doing and what their future brings. Oh, those are exactly the young people I want to talk to. I will interrogate away. Yeah. I'll bring a flashlight and shine it on Better them. Better believe it. That's yes, one of the... Me 
one of the purposes of things. That is younger. right. So yes. We get caught up on your lives. You betcha. Right. And we yeah. know how to live your life. Better than you do. We really do. We, do. Oh. <laughs> we just Sorry, do. We, we just do. You we should be you, thankful. But... That's the thing to be thankful for, that we are yes. here to guide you in so all ways. That would be the answer to your elders to say, thank you that you're here to guide Whew. us. Yeah. Okay, got that one covered. Number seven's kind of boring. They hate the dirty dishes. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> but, they you know, care. paper plates are fine with me. I bought paper plates for this I year. I have paper plates, and they even say Thanksgiving. Yeah, of course they oh, do. Course. Yay for you. Number eight. They don't know why every Thanksgiving you have to have a Jello salad. Do you have to have a Jello salad? <laughs> I'm doing the strawberry pretzel salad. Oh well, yes. Laura, that is yes, you yes. have to have that when you have that yes. skill set. There you go. And then number nine, I don't worry about this at all. My age, I'm probably just glad people are still living. People don't want to run into high school friends who are all home for Thanksgiving. I thought that was an odd one. Huh. I love running into high school friends. Yeah. And at oh. this age, grateful that we're all still walking. And you would think, yes, that they're so used to being on social media with everybody. Yeah, that they actually that really is a th- It was on the list because they don't actually see people in person. Yeah. Oh. So, but let's go on to a little more fun. Oh, that was very fun. Thanksgiving trivia. Okay. All right, we have time for a few. Thanksgiving right. trivia, yes. Yes, and this you could share around your Thanksgiving table. Oh, that reminds me, sharing around the table. Yes. I had a special note to ask you about something. Interrupting slightly? That's fine. You kind of jolted like you had just opened up a, t- a tube of rolls when I did this. You <laughs> kind of gave that same jolt yes, that as the pop of the rolls Crescent coming roll up. But I'm sorry, when you were saying gathering around the table, yeah. and you know, sometimes that's hard because some of your... Some, People go here and they go there to this family and that family, and which yes. is all wonderful. Yes. But now soon we will be having the metaverse. Do you think we will all be meeting for Thanksgiving in the meta universe, whatever that means? And I'm not real familiar with that. Is that weird thing where you wear goggles? I think sort of that would be one way to do it. You'd have an avatar, and all our avatars, I believe, would show up. What and Thanksgiving, they, and what, we could. What do they do with each other? They we talk? could talk. Sure. But my avatar we could give s- advice. We could still we'll, give it. Will be a better me? No, it'll it'll just it'll be, actually just be me, right? Oh, yeah, but we don't be together that way. Something to think about, huh? All right, I'm saying that's going to wow. happen. We're going to have Thanksgiving on the metaverse one of these days. Wow, I think that's what you call it, metaverse. You, you, she said it here. All right, but anyways, what were you going to say? These are you have a new list trivia. Oh yes, I have a new list. I'm so bad at trivia, but go, go on. I, I I will not make you go through every one of these. You eat at my table, you might get the same list. All right, number one. How many turkeys are prepared each year in the U.S.? Take a guess. Um, well, lots. Yes. Well, how many people are there? Two and over two hundred million. Over three hundred million. Three hundred million. Yeah. But then we wouldn't all need. Turkeys. Everybody doesn't need their own turkey. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you divide it by ten, yeah. So we'll say like thirty million. Oh, that's a scientific way. Like Whoa. families of ten, we'd say thirty million turkeys. That's pretty good. Forty-six million. Wow. You were pretty, pretty darn gobble, close. Gobble, 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 yes. gobble, 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 gobble. All right. Should now, I stop? Yes. Yeah. Please stop with the gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. What NFL, here's all you OHs and guys, football questions. Oh, we have something you. for them. Yes. What team, I didn't know this. I guess this is true, the Google said. What team always plays on Thanksgiving Oh, Day? Lori, you knew that. I didn't know You did this. so. I did not know Detroit. this. Detroit. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And since 1934, they played against, their first team they played against was the Bra- Bears. Oh, the Bears. 1934. Yeah, that's a long time. Gosh, I, that I didn't know it went back. Yeah. That's almost back to 1620 as far as we're concerned, huh? <laughs> there it is. All right. How do you think many... they played soccer? The Pilgrims played soccer? Is this a fact? I don't know. Did they? No. They went to head football yet. Yeah, I don't. They played... Soccer? Yeah. Maybe they played soccer. Maybe the Pilgrims did. Well, With the Indians? Discuss. Indians versus Discuss, the... people. Over your table, discuss right now. Yeah. Did the Pilgrims play soccer? All right. How many households eat? The famous green bean casserole every year. Oh, Brazil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your, your first answer was correct. 30 million. I yes. mean, you got to have. 30 million. But what's the best part, really, of the green bean casserole? When you get right down to it, it's those fried it's onions. It's the crunchy onions. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We should just have a casserole of onions. 
And maybe a little chance. mushroom soup, but yes. Just on the side. All right, one more, my dearest. Oh, well, there's one or so, two more. So many. Do you know when the first Macy's Thanksgiving parade was and what was the first balloon? It was probably right after World War One, I, I think. I'm going to say. 1924. Right. It was right around when our parents were born. Yep. Right, because everybody, there had been such a surge of immigration, and everybody was happy the war was over and life was good. And Yes. But I do not know what the first well, balloon was. A turkey. Balloon, that would have been good. The first balloon was three years later, and it was Felix the Cat. Oh, my oh, gosh. sweet. So for all our cat lovers. Does he still appear? Well, we'll have to watch. All right. Oh, or if dear. it's already passed, then you know. So I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, happy, 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 happy joyful happy. Thanksgiving. I'm sure I'll be around for some of it, a lot yep, of it. You better be. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you, Pat. Happy Let's Thanksgiving. Talk radio, all our things. I don't even know if we need to. To you, Pat. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you, Pat. Thanks for thanks for everything. Yeah, thanks okay, for boomerpod.com. OKBoomerPod.com okay, and OKBoomerPodcast okay, on any of your platforms. Yeah, OK. All right. Boomer Podcast. Podcast. Three different words. Three. Words, All right. We love people. you all. Have we a beautiful you. holiday with your and families. gobble, gobble, toodle-loo. <laughs> Be sure to come back to Beautiful Ohio and the OK Boomer Podcast to listen to previous episodes or to drop us a line. Visit OKBoomerPod.com okay,